distance. Run out there. Welcome to another Black Sash test at U.S. Martial Arts. They are here to show you that they're worthy of getting their first degree black sash. Okay? And they've already shown me that they have, that they are, but they gotta prove it to you now. Alright, so everyone follow off. Go ahead, get out of here. We started almost 25 years ago when our son was five and our daughter was eight. Our son had basically motor skill <laughs> issues. He would trip over his own feet. And we had him evaluated, and the doctor recommended that we get him involved in an activity that would help him learn how to use his body. She actually suggested martial arts. And the person that who is now our head Tai Chi instructor, Mr. Jeff, I was working with him, he did Kung Fu. So of course I asked him first what he would recommend. And he said, oh, you gotta try over this place, U.S. Martial Arts Academy. They specialize in kids. So we went over there, liked it, and eventually our daughter, our eight-year-old daughter, wanted to do it too. So I was gonna be there four times a week in classes, and I wasn't gonna sit in the audience, so I started taking lessons. This is, I believe, our 35th black sash test in the 28-year history of U.S. Martial Arts Academy. And that 28 years is significant. We are, without a doubt, in this area, the longest running school in this area, by more than double. And one of the big reasons for that is our student population and the families that are involved with this school. Honestly, we have, I think, the best students and the best families as a martial arts family of any school we're at. We teach a traditional style of Chinese Kung Fu from northwestern China called Tian Shen Pai. The current head of Tian Shen Pai is Grandmaster Wong Chan Liang. He's the 64th generation head of our stock. I've had the privilege of being his direct student since 1998, and he's taught me forms before I got my last ash to where I am now. Our school was founded in 1992 by a man named Carl Kogelschatz. Mr. Carl, as he was known, was a world-class competitor and fighter in martial arts. It was his vision to start a school that was different from other types of schools. His training was mostly in schools that had the old method. You know, very harsh, very demeaning, hard discipline, you know, yelling at the, at the students. And his idea was, if you get a more confidence building method of teaching, more encouraging method of teaching, you can pull into your, your classes the people that can get the most benefit from martial arts, which is improved motor skills, improved confidence in themselves. Those type of people that need that, they're not coordinated, they're not confident, they're not outgoing. They're pushed away from the old style of teaching. So Mr. Call said, if we put a lot of instructors out on the floor and we make it so that we have a lot of eyes, ears, and hands to help people, not yell at the students, make it enjoyable and encourage them, make the classes interesting, then you will keep them and keep them as students, which is good for a business model, and also for the students themselves. I had been in, I'd say, commercial world for almost 30 years. I had been with U.S. martial arts for a number of years at that point already, and I liked what this school does for people. I saw what it, how it helped our son and our daughter, and how it helped me, honestly, both physically and mentally. And I decided I would rather do something which I really enjoyed and that I could see immediately how it helped people rather than continue in the corporate world. I tell all the students and the candidates the biggest quality that people who reach their first degree have that they share in common is they don't give up. 
Okay, it's perseverance, dedication. We have a whole range of abilities here, but one of the big things is you keep trying, you never give up. So our three newest black sashes. Thank you all for coming out.